Hey everybody, it's time to take a quick look at Prey, the latest entry in the Predator film franchise. This was directed by Dan Trachtenberg and stars Amber Midsummer, Dakota Beavers, and Coco the Dog. This takes place on the Great Plains about 300 years before we saw Arnold go one-on-one -on -one with the Predator. Mid-Thunder plays Naru, a young Comanche woman who is not satisfied with her lot in life. Like most of the women in her tribe, she is a gatherer, but really wants to be a hunter. But then she and the tribe become the hunted as a predator has come to Earth to collect some skulls. I cannot believe it took them this long to figure out all you have to do to keep the Predator franchise interesting is just put the Predator up against different kinds of people. Simple. And not only did we get a really good movie out of it, but it opens up all kinds of possibilities. Let's put the Predator against some Vikings. Let's throw a Predator in feudal Japan. Put a Predator against some 1920s gangsters. Like, just the list goes on. And the end of this movie did tease the possibility of a direct sequel. And if they do go that route, I'm not going to complain too much. But I would like to see some variety here. I mean, they got options. But anyway, I do really like the Great Plains setting in this movie. Very similar vibe to the jungle setting of the original. I like how the Predator in this movie is very different from other Predators we've seen before. Which makes sense given the 300 year gap. Even though their technology is far in advance of ours, it still evolves over time. The Predator's helmet this time is not so much a helmet, but more of a mask and seems to be made out of bone instead of metal. He doesn't have the energy weapons that we're used to seeing. Instead, he has these guided bolts that can be targeted using the laser and the helmets. And even the Predator's face, compared to other movies, it just looks like a goddamn monster. And it's still mainly using practical effects with a bit of CGI enhancements, maybe a little more than they needed. I think they could have toned the CGI enhancement down a little bit and it still would have looked fine. I was very happy that they included the classic if it bleeds we can kill it line. A little disappointed that they did not include another classic line from Predator, but I don't know if there's a Comanche word for motherfucker. Mid Thunder gives a great performance in this movie, and I really enjoyed the character Naru and the journey she goes on. At first, she's a gatherer and really wants to be a hunter, but as time goes on, she finds out she does not have to live in one world or the other. She needs both sets of skills to fight the Predator. And she is not as strong as her male counterparts, but she makes up for that by being clever as hell. Which is indeed how you fight the Predator. The Predator will always have you beat in strength and technology, but that's the thing. They are far too reliant on their strength and their technology. They're really not very good hunters. But as good as Mid Thunder was, the real star of the show was Naru's dog, Sari, played by very good girl Coco. That dog was awesome. She is a great companion for Naru, very helpful not just against the Predator, but with various wild beasts that they encounter. And apparently she's a rescue dog, which is wonderful. Out of the shelter and into the movies, you can't do better than that. If ABC does another rescue dog show next year, they need to have Coco on as like a special guest celebrity or something. That'd be great. My only real complaint with this movie is it felt like they were holding back on the violence a bit, even though they had an R rating to work with. The violence is still there, to be clear. It's, it's absolutely there, but a lot of it happens either just off camera or in the background. And since it definitely wasn't the rating holding them back, I wonder if this may have been a budgetary thing, like they wanted to include more gore but just didn't have the money to do it. But that aside, I really, really liked this one. This was a lot of fun, had some great action sequences, great characters, a very good dog. I enjoyed it very much. It is streaming on Hulu if you have it, in both English and Comanche, if you're so inclined. If you don't have Hulu, subscribe for a month, watch Prey, binge Reservation Dogs, and then you can cancel. And that's all I have to say about Prey. Till next time, take care.